Hi there everybody, this is part one of a video I'm doing on the RSP Duo that I've purchased. So this is just to show you what the device looks like and what ports we have on it. So looking at the top there, we've got some clear indications of it telling us what the ports are. And I'll just show you there and we'll have a look in a bit more detail. So looking at the side there, we've got a USB port first off on the right hand side. That's the USB where you connect it to your PC. So you get a USB cable, you connect it to your PC. That's the simple bit. And the port next to it is something you're probably not going to use there. It says reference in and out. Now that's to do with basically uh, an external clock in and out for syncing or a GPS clock. Most people will never ever use that port. It's not something I've ever used myself, but some people may use it. If so, please uh, read up on it a bit more to find out what it actually does. So this is the side that I'm showing you now that will be of most interest. It's where you connect your antennas. Now this has got two tuners. It's a dual tuner, 14 bit radio and it does from one kilohertz to two gigahertz with no gaps now the dual tuner there as you can see it says tuner one and tuner two so tuner one we've got a 50 ohm connector there which is um, an sma type connector and we've also got something that says high z now the high z is where you would connect a long wire or a wire antenna if you can see there you've got the green connector on the side and you can just connect it in there so you can have basically the long wire on there or the 50 ohm antenna on tuner one now when i've been testing it i've just got it a normal 50 ohm antenna connected now tuner two is another port there and we've got a 50 ohm connector there as well so that's another 50 ohm connector so we've got those two ports that we can both connect into there two separate antennas that's how i have mine set up on tuner one i plug in my basically it's kind of a wire in the loft but it, it comes down as 50 ohms so i've got a 50 ohm connector there going up to the antenna in the loft and tuner two i've got another 50 ohm connector there going back to a disco type antenna which is outside and as you can see i just want to show you the case it's really well built really strong metal case so it's, it's really well built i'm really impressed with the quality of the case for this it's no problem at all and it's good because you've got no external power source to it as well you know we've just got the usb port there and that obviously powers the device as well now the good thing about this as well, having the two antennas means you can simultaneously monitor the two bands that you've got set up. So I will show you this on another video, on part two of the video. But basically, for example, you could monitor 40 meters and on tuner one and you could monitor two meters on tuner two. Or you can basically dual and basically if you like it, the software combines tuner one and tuner two antennas together and it can automatically find the best signal now that i've tried that and it does actually work okay so if you like you've got two different antennas in it will use them both and find out which one's got the best signal but we'll look at that a bit later on in part two so for this one this is part one this is just to show you what the device itself actually looks like so this is the rsp duo as i just mentioned earlier on the video a great bit of kit i've had it now for a few months and as i say i've got two antennas connected to it and it's been working fine i've made use of most of the functions on it apart from the reference which i haven't had a need to use myself and i've been using the sdr uno software and I've been looking at some other software as well that will run it. It's just like any other device. You've got to, you know, install the software, install the drivers and things like that. So thanks for watching this part one of the video. I'm going to be uploading part two very soon in the future, which is going to show you.
the software that we can use with this RSP Duo. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and keep a watch out for part two of the video where we'll look in detail at the software that we can use in conjunction with this RSP Duo device.